you look at all of the punishments that Allah speaks about in this world, the worst of them is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives that person a false sense of peace and security. And maybe we can call this istidraj. And they are snuck up upon them. They thought that their life, everything is perfect. And it's mentioned in many, many ayat of the Quran. Allah Azza wa mentions those people when they forgot what Allah Azza wa reminded them of. When they forgot the remembrance of Allah. Allah Azza wa didn't send upon them a flood. Allah Azza wa didn't send upon them a, a scream that caused them to die. Allah Azza wa didn't send upon them stones from the sky. Allah opened them the doors of the dunya. Every single thing they wanted, they got it. Until they became happy with what they had in this life. And they never thought about Yawm al -Qiyama. Allah took their lives suddenly and they were cut off from every chance to escape. This can be said to be the worst of the punishments that happens to a person in this life. That Allah opens up this dunya to them to an extent that they forget completely about the Akhir. And you can take this, you can link this also to this ayah. بَلْ يُرِيدُ الْإِنسَانُ the believer is constantly reminding themselves of Yawm Al-Qiyam and what will happen and constantly reminding themselves of the temporary nature of this world. So having a lot in this world is not a sign that Allah loves you and it's not a sign that Allah doesn't love you. It neither means good nor it means bad. But the difference is that the person who doesn't believe in Al-Qiyamah, when they are given in this world, it distracts them away from the Akhirah and they don't come back to Allah Azza wa Jalla.